Hi everyone. So because of our remote learning, we're not able to do our experiments for science as a group. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making these videos for you guys so that you can try to do the experiments at home with a parent. So let's get started. So for the lesson that we went over in science today, we did our gas trapping experiment. So what you're gonna to need to do this at home, you're gonna need a cup. It would be best if that cup is clear and see-through. Um, if the cup has words on it, it will make it a little trickier, but it's still fine. You're gonna need a lid. The lid does not have to go with the cup. As you can see, this lid does not go with this cup, but it covers the cup and that's all you need. You can use a paper plate, you could use a piece of paper, you can use a lid that goes on something else. You just need something that covers the cup completely. You are going to need something to write with. You're going to need the um, the gas trap paper. If you can't print this out, that's okay. If you can print this out, that would be awesome so that you can fill it out as we go. If you can't print this out, then this is available online and you can fill it out online. You won't be able to do the drawing part, but you'll be able to do everything else. Um, you're gonna need scissors. And if you can't print this out, if you don't have this available to be um, printed, then you're gonna need a piece of paper. If you have this, you do not need the piece of paper. But if you don't have this, then you need a piece of paper. So the first thing that we're going to do is on this paper, if you have it, you're gonna cut out the corner. So I already cut mine out. So you're gonna cut out the corner. If you don't have this paper and you need to make your own, you're gonna get your piece of paper and your scissors and you're gonna cut out a piece of the paper. It doesn't need to be big. This size is good. It just needs to be able to fit on your cup. So on the piece of paper, so as you can see from the paper that I printed, it says, can you read all these words through your cup? So we don't need to write all that, just to make it a little simpler since you're making your own. If you're making your own, um, you're gonna write the words, can you read this? And you're gonna write it big, and then you're gonna write it medium, and then you're gonna write it small. So I wrote the same sentence three times, but I made one of them big, one of them medium, and one of them small. So, so the first thing that we're gonna do is you're going to take your paper, no matter which one you have, if you have one that you made yourself or if you have one that you cut out that you were able to print, and you're going to hold it behind the cup. And you're going to look at the cup. You're going to look at it, and you're going to try to read through the cup. And you're going to try to read the words that you have on the paper. And then you're going to look at question one, and you're going to, it says, what is the last line that you can read? So we have it written big, medium, and small. So you're gonna look through the cup and what is the smallest version that you can see? So if you can see all three, you can say that I saw all three lines. Or if you can only see the top one, say I can only see the top one. So right now you guys are gonna pause the video and you're either gonna go answer question one on your piece of paper or you're gonna go and answer question one on the digital copy. All right, so now that you've answered question one, we're gonna move on to the next step of our experiment. So this part, you're gonna need an adult. We don't want anyone getting burned with hot water. Also, the water does not need to be piping hot. It does not need to be boiling. I can still touch this cup. It's warm, it's pretty warm, but it's not boiling hot. So you need some warm water, and you're gonna pour the warm water into the cup. Not that much, the cup doesn't need to be filled. And then you're gonna put your lid on top and we're gonna trap all of that gas in there. So as you can see, it's already starting to get kind of misty in there. All that gas is getting trapped. So give it like a minute or so to let the gases start to try to move and get out of there. And then that would be a good time. So now, we're gonna take our piece of paper again. This time, 
don't move the cup. We don't want the cup falling over and water going everywhere. You can do this without touching the cup. So you're gonna take your piece of paper, the one either you made or the one that you cut, whichever one you have at home, and you're gonna hold it up to the paper. You're gonna hold it up to the cup, and you're gonna do the same thing you just did. So pause the video and go answer question number two. All right, now that you answered question two, I want you guys to get your observing eyes on. So you guys are gonna observe your cup. You're gonna look at it and you're gonna draw a picture of it. So if you have the gas trap um, paper that you were able to print, you're gonna draw your picture in this little circle. If you don't have this at home, you can use anything you want. I could use the rest of my paper that I cut up. I could draw my picture here. I can draw my picture anywhere because you guys are just doing this for fun. This isn't going to be graded. We already did it as a class, so this is just for you. So you can draw your picture on anything. So, so let me draw a picture quick. So you're kind of just drawing like a snapshot of what the side of the cup looks like. All right, so here's my picture. So my picture, I showed that there's, I can see the water, and then I showed that there's like these little specks. There's these little specks that are on the side of the cup. Those are, that's the precipitation. And then I also showed that it's kind of foggy. I can't really see the inside of the cup. So I drew that it was kind of foggy. All right, next, we're gonna open the cup. We already figured out what's going on on the inside. So we're gonna open it up. And you guys are going to touch the inside of the cup. What does it feel like? Touch the top of the lid, the top, the, the part that was on the inside. Was it, can you guys see where my fingerprints are? So you can feel that, you can feel that. What does it feel like? What do you think that is? What is that on the lid? So now after you guys have had a second to feel the inside of the cup and feel the top of the lid, you're gonna pause the video and go answer question number Four. All right, guys, you answered question number four and you completed this, this experiment. You did it. Awesome. So you guys were able to complete this on your own.